Here is a new random project for today. This is an old black and white CRT run by Arduino Mega. We can observe the electron beam highlighting the corners of the screen. I have these buttons here. This separate button lets you select the quadrant. These four allow you to move the beam up and down, left and right. Here is a different code that randomizes the coordinates of the dot. Let me explain how I came up with this setup. I found this old TV in Lake Ontario. After drying it out, it seems like it works. I thought to use conversion boxes such as a ref modulator to hook up some modern signal to it and try playing Fallout, but it's been done to death by many others. I always liked CRT technology and I thought how can I drive it with my own circuitry. I decided to use Arduino Mega since I had one and tried to interface it with the tube. I found close to nothing on TV itself on the internet, but I was able to find two pinouts and specs in this repair magazine. Here we can see that the acceleration potential is 7 kV and the heater from electron gun runs on just 12 volts. This is the absolute minimum to run the tube, although there are those other signal wires. I didn't have anything that can produce 7 kV, but I have a bunch of these microwave oven transformers laying around. According to my measurements and calculations, the output of one is about 2.6 kV. I passed the output through full wave rectifier and was happy to see a dot on the screen. Maybe later I'll wind my own transformer that will be the correct specs. Now the coils. I decided to make my own by 3D printing the spool and I used 30 gauge wire for it. The DC resistance of each coil is just 40 ohm. Arduino. I use 4 ports on Arduino Mega. Port A, Port B, Port C and Port L. Each port activates the corresponding coil. It happens through a bunch of IRF 520 MOSFETs connected to an R to R ladder. I use the same 12 power supply that runs the heater to supply power to the coils. Arduino itself is completely not capable for supplying neither this kind of power nor voltage. I wish I had more MOSFETs, I need 7 for each port, but I only find 5 for each. Arduino does not produce negative voltages, so to deflect the beam in opposite directions, I had to make a separate coil for each direction from the center. This had to be reflected in the code so that opposite coils don't fight each other. I wrote the code to control the beam through the output from the ports that I mentioned. There is no overheating anywhere in the breadboard or Arduino. The MOT, however, is consuming a ridiculous 6 amps. Probably that energy is just wasted as heat. And that is the setup. I hope to improve it somehow to make use of the signal wire. Also, I have these color TVs that I hope to hack into something interesting. Would be great to hear some comments and suggestions from knowledgeable people. Thanks for watching.